Alright guys, welcome back to more PS5 Master League. Welcome to game one of this season in the Premier League. Old Trafford is where it starts for us and I can't believe it to be honest. Like really, Old Trafford is where it starts. I mean that or Stamford Bridge, you know, you might argue probably maybe the couple of toughest places we could have gone to maybe early on. But here. Yeah. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta play all your matches. Let's just start here. Why not? That's what um, that's what they've given us. So uh, yeah, we're out there today. Uh, Kaiser gonna start this one in DMF today. He's gonna swap over for uh, Dijon. Uh, we've got Lam starting this one at right back instead of uh, Sergio Ramos. Shelladino is gonna start for Manchester United. There, I've just noticed. Um, this is our team: Ronaldo and Babel up front. Iniesta attacking midfield. Fabregas on a red four. Mara is gonna take the left of the midfield. Gerard obviously right. Uh, Risa is going to start this one at left back as well. Checking goal for us. Uh, Heighting get Puyol at the back. Big game to start with. Got to go for it. Got to give it everything. Try and get the result. Get off the ground and running. Exciting stuff ahead. We're here. And we're off. Let's go. This season is underway. It's been a long time coming, but we are back in the uh, Premier League. Season 10 is here. And here is Iniesta. It's Gerard. It's Fabregas. He's putting in Babel. It's Babel. Oh, it's Babel. Oh, nearly. With a uh, early goal there, potentially. Oh, header. Who even headed that? Was it Iniesta? Here's Ronaldo. It's Gerard. It's a nice ball out. Oh, you can't pick out anyone there. Well, we played Manchester United in the last game in the uh, what would have been a charity shield game, and uh, we did pretty well. Mutu coming up with the goods. It was between Mutu or Babel up front today, and uh, well, we kind of figured that uh, Mutu was kind of had his time I suppose you might say that um, it's time to give other players a run out he's experienced and he's still good at what he does Ronaldo goes for it it's straight at the keeper <laughs> um, but yeah it's time for Babel to get more game time he's got his new number on today so it's all, all ex exciting stuff ahead it was pretty much going to be 19 because that's what he had when he was in Liverpool squad in real life, so it was pretty much always going to be the 19. But uh, here's Risa. Risa is waiting for something here. He's waiting for Fabregas. It's going to go over. Out to Gerard, And it's Kaiser with the effort. Oh, didn't kind of take it quite right. Here's Ferdinand. Boots up the field. Heitinger gets there. Here's Iniesta. It's a bad pass. Here's Smith. Smith they were looking to get rid of. He's um, he's playing in cent centre midfield, is Smith? That's a little bit odd. I think he can play... Um, I, be I believe he can play... Um, oh, that's an offside uh, attacking midfield. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. G Sung is attacking midfield. United to do. There's Puyol. Heitinger. Risa. Going out wide to Fabregas. It won't quite make him. Oofed. It's against Liverpool. Here's Risa. Oh, is it Risa? Is it potentially? Just about. <laughs> Here's Iniesta. Here's Gerard out wide. Needs to find something here. It's Fabregas. It's Iniesta. Ah, oh, the ball has been lost there. It's kind of too narrow. Needed a little bit of extra wide play there. Here is Heitinger. It's Babel. Uh, it's going to be out of play. It's going to be a throw in. Not too much happening here. In terms of chances anywhere. Here is Iniesta. It's 
It's Maradona. Smith fits out wide to Thierry Henry. He's on the uh, right wing. And it's crossing over. Gerard is in the way. It's an offside by Ji Sung anyway. Whoa. Not too far off. Here's Risa. It's Fabregas linking up on this uh, left side again. Here is Fabregas. It's Fabregas. Oh, with a shot there. I don't know if that was on target or not. But it required a save. You can't take that chance, can you, really? Oh, that's a free kick against G-Sung. Here's Lam. Here's Ronaldo. Here's Babel. It's Iniesta. Gerard Lam again. Lam and Ronaldo going wide. It's Ronaldo. Ooh. Babbles in the middle. Here's Iniesta. Oh, he doesn't pick out Babble. It's just that little bit of space just not quite opening up, is it? Here's Babble once more. And his place in the team last season. Oh, it's going to be a corner. It's going to be swung in. Oh, it's not. It's not quite where we want it. It's Risa. Oh, it's going to be taken out. You just think when is this potential goal going to happen? It's uh, an exciting build-up, but just nothing quite happening yet. Ah, Gerard, offside. Got it back again. And that's going to be the keeper's ball that time. Interesting first half. <laughs> a lot of chances, a lot of excitement, but just nothing happening in front of goal much. Apart from that Fabregas chance, which was a pretty good attempt, but well matched by Van der Sar. Here's Babel. Could things change before half time, perhaps? Here's Iniesta. Still in Iesta. Here's Puyol. And it's Kaiser. And... Ooh, free kick here just before half time. Gerrard's out on his own. Oh, maybe a bad idea in the end. Here's Hines. Yeah, half time. Okay, I mean, hmm. We've got the right idea, but we just. I don't know. You might say the United are defending well. Um, just keep it up and try and break them down, I guess, in the second half. I don't think we really need to change anything. Well, since it's the first proper game back, I'll give you one of the results so far. And that is uh, Aston Villa 3, Chelsea 4. So, yeah, that's uh, that's one to start the uh, league off with. Very uh, interesting stuff happening there. Here's Alarm. It's Puyol for some reason that far forward. I'm not sure why. That's headed away. It's still in play. Here's Risa. And here's Gerard. So it's a decent idea, here's Lam. And Iniesta, oh, with a shot off target. It was a it was a decent move. But yeah, we was unfortunate in the last episode to not get Gambino. Um, unfortunately, we can try that again, obviously, at a later time. But, um, yeah, uh, we got Lam and we got Cordoba. We traded Booth on. We got rid of Clichy. We opened up a gap in the team. So, uh, you know, it, it's not the most fabulous transfer window. We usually do more in the summer, but I'm sort of happy of how it is. We've had a small rejig. Um, you know, 
Well, we, we said we maybe could do with a defender. We got Lam, you know, so I think we're, we're happy with that. Um, and like I say, if we was able to get, bring an up-and-coming keeper in, which is maybe what we needed. I mean, based on some of the performances Buffon had last season, I think maybe it was probably the right thing to do. But, um, hey, we could say we had Buffon at one point, you know. That's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Come on, something in this game today has got to happen. And Czech is going to boot the ball out. It's an is that really an offside from Ronaldo? Wow. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Arachi is coming on. Well, I think he was one of the ones we were looking at. So we were like, didn't he score quite a few goals or something last season? And we were like, hmm, let's check this guy out. And then we were like, well, isn't he like 30 or something now? I'm not sure, but off oh, that's way offside by G-Sung. And it's Babel. Ah, oh, it's an offside by Babel. I mean, man, you're getting this right with the offsides, you know. It's making us work. It's Van der Sar. Oh. And here's Risa. Could there be something here? It's Babble! Oh, what a save! So unlucky. Oh, just one goal would just nick this game. Come on, something. Something! Oh! It has to be tipped over by Van der Sar. It's getting a little bit more interesting. Ronaldo's header there. Put some pressure on them. And, oh, he's straight to that as well. So we are going to make our three substitutions. One of them is going to be Ramos to come on for Risa, but uh, Lam is going to go over to the other side. Um, yeah, we... Oh! Shiladino nearly nicking it there. Unbelievable. Um... Yeah, Mutu on for Babel. Babel's he's tried, but he's just been unlucky and unfortunate today. And Iniesta is off for Joe Cole. Uh, Joe Cole, one of my favourite players of last season. He was just so... Every time he played, he was just so good. So we're going to try and change things up a bit there. I was questioning a change of formation at this point, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't want to gamble on a formation change, honestly. Here's Mutu. It's Mutu. It's Mutu, it's Ronaldo. Oh, he should have gone for it. It's Joko! Oh! He's literally just come on. I think, is that his first touch? Honestly, I will hold my hands up there and say, you know what, Mutu should have taken that. He should have just took the chance. He was trying, we're trying to be too clever. Fortunately, we've somehow made it pay off, but yeah, Mewtwo should have just taken it. We're just saying how good Joe Cole has been, and he does that. It's a lucky, it could be a lucky escape today, because I, I, to be honest, I think we've been good, but we haven't been amazing. United have defended well. There's a Archie, they might have something to say about it yet. Uh, that's going to be, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that was meant to be a cross, or if that was meant to be a shot. Probably a cross, I'd imagine. Lam onto the uh, left side now. Ramos has just come on. And it's Gerard here. And, ooh, it's close. It's coming into the box. It's back out. I think United have brought Van Nistelrooy on. I don't, I don't think we really see him much play against us that, that often. It's 
And Mutu. Oh, brought down. Free kick is away. Here's Gerard. It's Joe Cole. It's Mutu. Mutu. It's Joe Cole. Oh, it's just not. There's nothing there opening up. Sort of a nice tackle there by Gerard. He's going to have to come back. That should be the keepers. That should be a 1-0 win to start us with. Oh, we're going to play on, apparently. There's still time for a possibly another goal. It's G Song, and it's not going to make it. And there's the game, yeah. A lucky, lucky game for us, to, to be honest there, because Mutu should have taken that chance. If he had, I'm betting probably Mutu might have scored, but Van der Sy is very good. You know, it, it just worked out in the end, luckily enough. It was just all luck. I can't say anything other than that. Game records, Heitinger with the man of the match. I mean, yeah, he was, he was decent. I mean, he was defending pretty well when I saw him. Uh, calm, controlled skills that improve the overall performance of the team. Okay. Well, I, you know, I, I give him that. Um, to be honest, I don't think he can really give it to Joe Cole. He just came on, took a shot, scored, and that was pretty much it, wasn't it? Uh, Ronaldo was really trying today. Gerard was trying. Fabregas was trying. Lam again, looked quite impressive. To be honest, he was doing a solid job, I thought. Um, and then Joe Cole just like came on and stole the show a little bit there. Rulo was really good for Manchester United. I think he played well in the last game we played against United as well. Um, don't know what his stats are like. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that. But uh, yeah, it was a close game decided by luck in my opinion. So this is what it uh, looks like after one game in the league so far. Wow, look at that. No home wins to start with. Not one home team won today. Um, Arsenal won at Blackburn 3-0. West Brom win at Everton 1-0. Told you about the Chelsea one against Villa though. 4-3. What a game. I'd love to see the uh, highlights of that. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, Newcastle 2-2 against Tottenham. We United 5-1 um, against Bolton. That's crazy stuff. They should be top of the league, I believe, then. Uh, Birmingham, decent result against Middlesbrough to start with. 1-1. They've got a point. Uh, Celtic win at Rangers in the Derby 3-2 so uh, yeah both promoted teams are picking up points and then there's us with the win not bad if my maths is correct there was 29 goals in the opening uh, weekend here so that's uh, that's kind of crazy to be honest that really is but look at that we United top there with their five that they put past Bolton not a good start for Bolton um, but yeah just as some some teams haven't conceded quite yet about three of them or so so uh, yeah but that's it you can't really say much at this uh at this point in the season really good start for celtic not a bad start for birmingham either really good start for west brom as well they won uh everton um bolton you know the, we, we've still got what 29 games yet guys it's uh it's far from over well uh rubinho hit a couple of goals today for arsenal and milan barros for aston villa hit a couple um wasn't enough for villa to take anything from the game against chelsea but look at this we're playing bolton next <laughs> so uh yeah they had five put past them uh against we united and we're playing them next so that's not bad uh, hopefully <laughs> maybe that means something good but look at that celtic they're checking on manchester united in the next episode that'll be interesting off to a good start celtic we united and chelsea can we united keep their good run of form going there chelsea did win their opening game but it was a bit of a struggle by the looks of it newcastle are against birmingham uh west brom are against aston villa tottenham are against rangers rangers lost their opening game to celtics so they need to get back on track uh middlesbrough against blackburn and arsenal against everton everton lost their opening game to West Brom didn't they so uh, yeah crazy stuff happening yet again guys um, if I had to sum up today like I said it would be luck but I think we played solidly United defended well we got that just just luck to get the goal today thanks to Joe Cole so uh, 
yeah join us next time when we take on bolton wanderers comment subscribe and share as always we're back and it's going to be as crazy as ever it promises to be see you then take care